product CPU chips is why I like to read about it let's uh, continue Two sig and CO two three Psi plus two CO ferrosilicon alloy. This reaction, known as carbothermal reduction of silicon dioxide, usually is conducted in the presence of scrap iron with low amounts of phosphorus and sulfur, producing ferrosilicon dot twenty seven ferrosilicon, an iron silicon alloy that contains varying ratios of elemental silicon and iron accounts for about 80% of the world's production of elemental silicon, with China, the leading supplier of elemental silicon, providing 4.6 million tons, or 2 forward slash 3 RDS of world. Output, of silicon, most of it in the form of ferrosilicon. It is followed by Russia, 610,000 T, Norway, 330,000 T, Brazil, 240,000 T and the United States 170,000 T. 86. Ferrosilicon is primarily used by the iron and steel industry, see below, with primary use as alloying addition in iron or steel and for de oxidation of steel in integrated steel plants. 27. Another reaction, sometimes used, is aluminothermal reduction of silicon dioxide as follows sad smiley 87 3 psi 2 plus 4 l 3 psi plus 2 l 2 3 leaching powdered 96 97 percent pure silicon with water results in tilde 98.5 percent pure silicon which is used in the chemical industry however even greater purity is needed for semiconductor applications and this is produced from the reduction of tetrachlorosilin silicon tetrachloride, or trichlorosilin. The former is made by chlorinating scrap silicon and the latter is a byproduct of silicone production. These compounds are volatile and hence can be purified by repeated fractional distillation, followed by reduction to elemental silicon with very pure zinc metal as the reducing agent. The spongy pieces of silicon thus produced are melted and then grown to form cylindrical single crystals, before being purified by zone refining. Other roots use the thermal decomposition of silane or tetriodosilane, psi I4. Another process used is the junction of sodium hexafluorosilicate, a common waste product of the phosphate fertilizer industry, bimetallic sodium. This is highly exothermic and hence requires no outside energy source. Silicon nanostructures can be produced directly from silica using conventional metallothermic processes or combustion synthesis methods. Such nanostructured silicon materials can be used in various functional applications, including the anode of lithium ion batteries or for catalytic applications. Hyperfin silicon is made at a higher purity than almost any other material. Transistor production requires impurity levels in silicon crystals less than 1 part per 1010, and in special cases impurity levels below 1 part per 1012 are needed and attained. 27. Silicon nanostructures can directly be produced from silica sand using the combustion synthesis approach. Such nanostructured silicon materials can be used as the anode or lithium ion batteries, LIBS. 88. Applications. Compounds. Most silicon is used industrially without being purified, and indeed, often with comparatively little processing from its natural form. More than 90% of the Earth's crust is composed of silicate minerals, care compounds of silicon and oxygen, often with metallic ions when negatively charged silicate onions require cations to balance the charge. Many of these have direct commercial uses, such as clays, silica sand and most kinds of building stone. Thus, the vast majority of uses for silicon are as structural compounds either as the silicate minerals or silica, crude silicon dioxide. Silicates are used in making Portland cement.
made mostly of calcium silicates, which is used in building mortar and modern stucco. But more importantly, combined with silica sand and gravel, usually containing silicate minerals such as granite, to make the concrete that is the basis of most of the very largest industrial building projects of the modern world. 89. Silica is used to make fire brick, a type of ceramic. Silicate minerals are also in whiteware ceramics, an important class of products usually containing various types of fired clay minerals, natural aluminium phyllosilicates. An example is porcelain, which is based on the silicate mineral kaolinate. Traditional glass, silica-based soda lime glass, also functions in many of the same ways, and also is used for windows and containers. In addition, specialty silica-based glass fibers are used for optical fiber, as well as to produce fiberglass for structural support and glass wool for thermal insulation. Silicones often are used in waterproofing treatments, molding compounds, mold release agents, mechanical seals, high temperature greases and waxes, and corking compounds. Silicone is also sometimes used in breast implants, contact lenses, explosives and pyrotechnics. 90. Silly putty was originally made by adding boric acid to silicone oil. 91. Other silicon compounds function as high technology abrasives and new high strength ceramics based upon silicon carbide. Silicon is a component of some super alloys. Alloys. Elemental silicon is added to molten cast iron as ferrosilicon or silico-calcium alloys to improve performance in casting thin sections and to prevent the formation of cementite where exposed to outside air. The presence of elemental silicon in molten iron acts as a sink for oxygen, so that the steel carbon content which must be kept within narrow limits for each type of steel, can be more closely controlled. Ferrosilicon production and use is a monitor of the steel industry, and although this form of elemental silicon is grossly impure, it accounts for 80% of the world's use of free silicon. Silicon is an important constituent of electrical steel, modifying its resistivity and ferromagnetic properties. The properties of silicon may be used to modify alloys with metals other than iron. Metallurgical grade silicon is silicon of 95-99% purity. About 55% of the world consumption of metallurgical purity silicon goes for production of aluminium silicon alloys, silumin alloys, for aluminium part casts, mainly for use in automotive industry. Silicon's importance in aluminium casting is that a significantly high amount, 12%, of silicon in aluminium forms a eutectic mixture which solidifies with very little thermal contraction. This greatly reduces tearing and cracks formed from stress as casting alloys cool to solidity. Silicon also significantly improves the hardness and thus wear resistance of aluminium. 92, 93, Electronics. Most elemental silicon produced remains as a ferrosilicon alloy, and only approximately 20% is refined to metallurgical grade purity. A total of 1.31.5 million metric tons forward slash year. An estimated 15% of the world production of metallurgical grade silicon is further refined to semiconductor purity. 93. This typically is the 9-9 or 99.9999999% purity, 94, nearly defect-free single crystalline material. 95, monocrystalline silicon of such purity is usually produced by the Chokrolsky process, and is used to produce silicon wafers used in the semiconductor industry, in electronics and in some high-cost and high-efficiency photovoltaic applications. 96. Pure silicon is an intrinsic semiconductor, which means that unlike metals, it conducts electron holes and electrons released from atoms by heat. Silicon's electrical conductivity increases with higher temperatures. Pure silicon has too low a conductivity, i.e., too high a resistivity to burst as a circuit element in electronics. 
In practice, pure silicon is doped with small concentrations of certain other elements, which greatly increase its conductivity and adjust its electrical response by silicon wafer with mirror finish controlling the number and charge, positive or negative, of activated carriers. Such control is necessary for transistors, solar cells, semiconductor detectors, and other semiconductor devices used in the computer industry and other technical applications. 97. In silicon photonics, silicon may burst as a continuous wave Raman laser medium to produce coherent light. 98. In common integrated circuits. A wafer of monocrystalline silicon serves as a mechanical support for the circuits, which are created by doping and insulated from each other by thin layers of silicon oxide, an insulator that is easily produced on psi surfaces by processes of thermal oxidation or local oxidation, locus, which involve exposing the element to oxygen under the proper conditions that can be predicted by the deal Grove model. Silicon has become the most popular material for both high power semiconductors and integrated circuits because it can withstand the highest temperatures and greatest electrical activity without suffering avalanche breakdown. An electron avalanche is created when heat produces free electrons and holes, which in turn pass more current which produces more heat. In addition, the insulating oxide of silicon is not soluble in water, which gives it an advantage over germanium, an element with similar properties which can also be used in semiconductor devices, in certain fabrication techniques. 99. Monocrystalline silicon is expensive to produce, and is usually justified only in production of integrated circuits where tiny crystal imperfections can interfere with tiny circuit paths. For other uses, other types of pure silicon may be employed. These include hydrogenated amorphous silicon and upgraded metallurgical grade silicon, UMGs are used in the production of low-cost, large-area electronics in applications such as liquid crystal displays and of large-area, low-cost, thin-film solar cells. Such semiconductor grades of silicon are either slightly less pure or polycrystalline rather than monocrystalline, and are produced in comparable quantities as the monocrystalline silicon, 75,000 to 150,000 metric tons per year. The market for the lesser grade is growing more quickly than for monocrystalline silicon. By 2013, polycrystalline silicon production used mostly in solar cells, was projected to reach 200,000 metric tons per year, while monocrystalline semiconductor grade silicon was expected to remain less than 50,000 tons per year. 93. Quantum dots. Silicon quantum dots are created through the thermal processing of hydrogen sil sesquioxin in tonino crystals ranging from a few nanometers to a few microns. Displaying size dependent luminescent properties. 100, 101. The nanocrystals display large Stokes shifts converting photons in the ultraviolet range to photons in the visible or infrared, depending on the particle size, allowing for applications in quantum dot displays and luminescent solar concentrators due to their limited self absorption. A benefit of U silicon production used mostly in solar cells, was projected to reach 200,000 metric tons per year, while silicon wafer with mirror finish controlling the number and charge, positive or negative, of activated carriers. Such control is necessary for transistors, solar cells, semiconductor detectors, and other semiconductor devices used in the computer industry and other technical applications. 97. In silicon photonics, silicon may burst as a continuous wave Raman laser medium to produce coherent light. 98. In common integrated circuits, a wafer of monocrystalline silicon serves as a mechanical support for the circuits 
which are created by doping and insulated from each other by thin layers of silicon oxide, an insulator that is easily produced on psi surfaces by processes of thermal oxidation or local oxidation, locus, which involve exposing the element to oxygen under the proper conditions that can be predicted by the Deal Grove model. Silicon has become the most popular material for both high power semiconductors and integrated circuits because it can withstand the highest temperatures and greatest electrical activity without suffering avalanche breakdown. An electron avalanche is created when heat produces free electrons and holes, which in turn pass more current which produces more heat. In addition, the insulating oxide of silicon is not soluble in water, which gives it an advantage over germanium, an element with similar properties which can also be used in semiconductor devices, in certain fabrication techniques. 99. Monocrystalline silicon is expensive to produce, and is usually justified only in production of integrated circuits where tiny crystal imperfections can interfere with tiny circuit paths. For other uses, other types of pure silicon may be employed. These include hydrogenated amorphous silicon and upgraded metallurgical grade silicon, UMGSI, used in the production of low-cost, large area electronics in applications such as liquid crystal displays and of large area, low-cost, thin film solar cells. Such semiconductor grades of silicon are either slightly less pure or polycrystalline rather than monocrystalline, and are produced in comparable quantities as the monocrystalline silicon, 75,000 to 150,000 metric tons per year. The market for the lesser grade is growing more quickly than for monocrystalline silicon. By 2013, polycrystalline silicon production used mostly in solar cells, was projected to reach 200,000 metric tons per year, while monocrystalline semiconductor grade silicon was expected to remain less than 50,000 tons per year. 93. Quantum dots. Silicon quantum dots are created through the thermal processing of hydrogen silsesquioxin in tonino crystals ranging from a few nanometers to a few microns displaying size-dependent luminescent properties. 100, 101. The nanocrystals display large Stokes shifts converting photons in the ultraviolet range to photons in the visible or infrared, depending on the particle size, allowing for applications in quantum dot displays and luminescent solar concentrators due to their limited self-absorption. A benefit of using silicon-based quantum dots over cadmium or indium is the non-toxic, metal-free nature of silicon dot, 102, 103. Another application of silicon quantum dots is for sensing of hazardous materials. The sensors take advantage of the luminescent properties of the quantum dots through quenching of the photoluminescence seeing the presence of the hazardous substance dot, 104. There are many methods used for hazardous chemical sensing with a few being electron transfer, fluorescence resonance energy transfer, and photocurrent generation. 105. Electron transfer quenching occurs when the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital, a LUMO, is slightly lower in energy than the conduction band of the quantum dot, allowing for the transfer electrons between the two preventing recombination of the holes and electrons within the nanocrystals. The effect can also be achieved in reverse with a donor molecule having its highest occupied molecular orbital, HOMO, slightly higher than a valence band edge of the quantum dot, allowing electrons to transfer between them, filling the holes and preventing recombination. Fluorescence resonance energy transfer occurs when a complex forms between the quantum dot and a quencher molecule. The complex will continue to absorb light but when the energy is converted to the ground state it does not release a photon quenching the material. 
The third method uses different approach by measuring the photocurrent emitted with quantum dots instead of monitoring the photoluminescent display. If the concentration of the desired chemical increases then the photocurrent given off by the nanocrystals will change in response. 106. Biological role. A diatom, enclosed in azilica cell wall although silicon is readily available in the form of silicates, very few organisms use it directly. Diatoms, radiolaria, and siliceous sponges use biogenic silica as a structural material for their skeletons. In more advanced seed plants, the silica phytoliths, opal phytoliths, are rigid microscopic bodice occurring in the cell. Some plants, for example rice, need silicon for their growth. 107, 108, 109. Silicon has been shown to improve plant cell wall strength and structural integrity in some plants. 110, 109. Several horticultural crops are known to protect themselves against fungal plant pathogens with silicon, to such a degree that fungicide application may fail unless accompanied by sufficient silicon. Nutrition. Silicaceous plant defense molecules activate some phytolexins, meaning some of the mere signaling substances producing acquired immunity. When deprived some plants will substitute with increased production of other defensive substances. 109. Life on Earth is largely composed of carbon, but astrobiology considers that extraterrestrial life may have either hypothetical types of biochemistry. Silicon is considered an alternative to carbon, as it can create complex and stable molecules with four covalent bonds, required for a DNA analog, and it is available in large quantities. Yes, I should not have stopped the video. Got uh, the, the can corners out of power. So we have to read uh, from top of the page. Yes, I'm nearly finished eating my candy. So now I need to take a break because this camcorder is low on power. So I'll um, just continue. I will charge this camcorder like two hours. Then uh, just continue.